Good morning, all of you. Keep joining, keep joining. Very good morning to all of you. Just let me switch on the live chat so that whatever are your comments, I can check and revert. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, all of you. Okay, so today is the second class for capital gain, the base level, all the details are over yesterday. And today we are doing important uh, problems which are asked in capital gain. House property, capital gain, separate question is there. Business head along with deductions you get in question number one. So capital gain, major part we will do today for related to shares, right shares, bonus shares, all I'll give you running notes. <clears throat> excuse me and tomorrow we will be doing exemptions okay right put me a message how do you feel tomorrow is visarjan but mujhe to lagta hai ki rozi class hona chahiye sunday bhi roz so that once we complete on time you get super good time for revision okay now today's pearls of wisdom is write for yourself every day say it to yourself every day I take 100% responsibility for myself. Being very shy as a student and with a lot of anger and emotions, I have also gone through all these roller coasters while doing my CA exam preparation and in my internship and all. But over the period, this one sentence I have applied and it has changed. Whenever you know, iske karan ye ho raha hai, result ye ho raha hai, coaching is not proper, institute is setting tough paper, people are not letting me study, environment is not supportive, ghar mein sab log doubt kar rahe hai. So many things are there, 110 things <clears throat> to give away all our control to others. But the day we start saying to ourselves, pehle to bhoat bolti thi mein, par ab wo andar fit ho gaya hai ek dam. I take 100% responsibility for myself. I understand myself. I know my triggers. If someone is lying, I get angry. Or someone is not listening to me continuously when I'm saying, you know, Sam, Dam, Dand, Bhed, Kiya, Nahi, Samaj, Me, Aare, Baat, Tab, Fir, Para, Chad, Jata, Hai, Matlab, I know my temperament and then gradually able to process my anger anger or emotions or anything if we are not able to clear the exam agreed bcom exam came in between and this happened but still could we have studied before ya baad mein ya kar sakte the? and with that now what i can do you know once you apply this technique i take 100 percent responsibility for myself all your control will be in your hand and like then people will be surprised when they try to trigger you, when they try to press their button, they know ki haan, dipti na, ye to chillate rahegi, ye to aise hi karegi, ye to ro degi, ye to ye karegi. And they are surprised ki isko ho kya kya hai. Because now I know my patterns, I know how to process it. So this is my mentors have taught me. As a teacher, it's my duty to build up a solid growth mindset along with the taxation classes. So I took five minutes for this. If it is worth it, comment below the video. Do you agree? And if yes, write down 
वीडियो के नीचे लिखने से नोटबुक में लिखने से हर जगह लिखने से ये याद हो जाता है आई टेक हंड्रेड परसेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ माई सेल्फ ओके एंड सी हाउ फ्री यू विल बी फ्रॉम द क्लचेज ऑफ अदर्स बी इट फैमिली मेंबर्स फ्रेंड्स योर आर्टिकल शिप सर सबके इससे बैकग्राउंड से आप अपने आप बाहर आ जाओगे इसमें and you will like outperform literally i am saying i'll definitely make sure i'm sharing some of my photos of 1995 you see my personality how shy matlab i would think twice thrice before speaking also something ha huh? ab to chup kar aana mushkil hai all right chalo over to the capital gain chapter yesterday what we have done we will continue hmm we have done with the base level when do you enter this chapter dear students capital gain when there is a capital asset and you have transferred the capital asset okay right <clears throat> for inter final all the students i feel this is like very very important one second yeah and this chapter i feel i have worked so much for making these sarthi notes full of example you tell me at end of the class whether you are clear with all this or not hmm chal good morning yeah join the live chat and comment so that we also come to know that you all are following yeah i'll just quickly in 5 minutes brush up the yesterday's class and it says there should be a capital asset okay theek hai that capital asset should be transferred now once you transfer the capital asset the gain will be short term capital gain or short term capital loss that will depend on the age of the capital asset what are capital assets we know it's related to business personal movable immovable tangible intangible fixed circulating except stock in trade personal effects but in personal effects jewelry and all that hmm ye sab hai aapke assets mein aayega gold silver platinum bullion gold coins silver biscuits all agricultural land is not a capital asset and these three bonds because they are issued by government they are exempt from being a capital asset okay right what is that a uh, special gold bond special bearer bonds and gold deposit bonds okay right next is policy this is i feel they will definitely ask for agle may 24 mein to isme amendment hai jo hame abhi discuss nahi karna generally amount received on maturity of lic is exempt from tax okay but suppose if you have paid the premium dear students and single policy premium exceeds 250000 or all the policies which are issued after 1421 mila ke the premium exceeds 250000 okay then what it is hmm? in this mcq they can ask it on maturity these kind of the policies kaun sa policy jiska single premium 250 se exceed ho raha hai aur ya fir group premium 250 se these policies maturity amount is taxable under capital gain as capital asset okay and the recent ones i have added yesterday i have explained you everything about virtual digital asset bitcoin cryptocurrency section 115 bbh yes whatever income you get from virtual digital asset transfer that is taxable at flat 30% no basic exemption no deductions and no set off of other losses in virtual digital asset if there is a loss you cannot set it off anywhere else only thing allowed to be deducted is the cost hmm no indexation no other benefit and this point is important when i am transferring the virtual digital asset to you and you are the buyer you need to deduct from 1st july 2022 tds at the rate of 1% on transfer amount of pda after 1st july 
under section 194S, newly introduced. Clear to all of you? Right. Yes, Kaushik. Thank you. Thanks to you also for being committed and joining the class on time. I hope things are all clear to you. And if you feel this knowledge is good, please help me in my mission of reaching this conceptual knowledge across India. I am doing it in a very gist way, best way. Or koi lambe lambe classes nahi lene, 50, 60 classes. Fir bhi aap baut achche mark score karoge. To wo dar nikalna hai mujhe income tax. Income tax is like you should enjoy while studying. Hai na? Chalo. Now, age of the capital asset or holding period of the capital asset will decide dear students whether it is short term capital gain or long term. Listed securities, units of UTI, zero coupon bonds. If they are held for less than 12 months, short term, otherwise long term. Unlisted shares, land and building, less than 24 months, short term, otherwise long term. Debt-oriented mutual fund, unlisted securities, other capital asset, less than 36 months, short term, otherwise long term. Okay? Right. Basic exemption is allowed from capital gain. Now, listed shares on which STT is charged, tax rate is flat 15%. Long term, hai to 1 lakh basic exemption over and above 2 lakh 50,000. And then it is taxable at 10%. Other normal short term capital gain is taxable at slab rate 20%. Basic exemption is available. Unutilized basic exemption concept we have done two, three times. You can check that. Hmm? Rebate sub jaga available hai, except long term capital gain on shares. And you know, higher surcharge rates of 25% and 37%, they are not applicable for long term capital gain. So, tax wala jo part hai na, ye bar bar repeat karte rehna. Ye table mein fir se padhaungi aapko. Kal, abaj ni. Transfer includes sale, exchange, relinquishment, extinguishment, compulsory acquisition. Conversion, this we have to study today. <clears throat> this is the list of transfer wherein the asset is transferred from holding to subsidiary, gift, will, partition. But it is not taxable. It is exempt. Reverse mortgage, senior citizen scheme, I explained you yesterday. How do you solve the problem? Hmm? Format actually, bina dekhe yaad hona chahiye, kyunki today we are going to do problem. Yesterday, more than 45 minutes, I spared to explain you only the format. So, dhyan se suno. Short-term capital gain. Suppose they are listed shares. You held it for 8 months and you transferred. Sale consideration. Less expenses. You know, generally, what are the expenses related to sale of shares? Stamp duty, brokerage, STT. So, expenses related to sale. STT is not allowed to be deducted. If you are showing shares as capital asset, STT is allowed to be deducted as expense under section 36 in business head. If you are showing share trading as your stock in trade. Okay? Chalo. So sale consideration, less expenses, net sale consideration minus cost of acquisition. Next is cost of improvement. What do you mean by cost of improvement? Cost of improvement is after purchasing the asset. Have I made some ad uh, addition? Like I purchased a diamond necklace and I added 4 inch chain, gold chain to it. Or I purchased a G plus 1 property or do floor or construct kardi. So will be deduct hoga and you will get capital. If it is long term, only difference is indexation. Indexation rates are given to you. In 2001 and 2, what was available for 100? is now available in 20 to 23 for 331. Jo 100 rupiah mein milta tha, aaj uski value si, humare ghar mein dada ji aur bolte na. I have told you many times this, if not listen to it again. In 95, I used to go a uh, whole week to all my classes, inter or baad mein final in my Honda Activa. And 100 rupees of petrol, 4 liters of petrol in 100 rupees would go for one week for me. So, Joji is available in 2001. Today, value is 331. So, in that year, if you have purchased a property for 10,000, what is its indexed cost today? 
yes and i'll work out more writing problems aaj to practice karne hain problems concept humne kafi bata diye aapko okay to short term aur long term mein kya difference hai ye dekho aap dikh raha hai screen pe index cost aap deduct karoge there is no formula dear students <coughs> but the logical way of answering we have solved these problems also yeah suppose if you use the asset or you have purchased before 2001 say you have purchased the asset in 92 but 92 ka index rate to nahi hai so can you take the fair market value of the asset in 2001 answer is yes are you all with me 2001 ka aap See, I have purchased one property in 1992. What's the fair original cost or fair market value in 2001? Whichever is higher, you take. And when I am taking fair market value in 2001, I have stretched and got the cost from 92 to 2001. An indexation also I can start from 2001. For that, this solved example we have seen. Yeah. so many cases uh, because we get the property by way of partition or gift or will we can take cost of previous owner and in case of gift will inheritance you can take the indexation of the previous owner okay some of the students are saying ma'am little confused beta lectures miss mat karo pura sequence mein dekho deepthi ma'am 5 minute bhi koi idhar udhar ki baat nahi karenge you don't know i have got a power when i'm sitting at this place ki i can tell you wonderful stories and take a show like kapil sharma and make it so hilarious of course i'm trying to make it more interesting and passionate about and it's good masti bhi karna hai jokes bhi karna hai but ek limit mein nahi to kya hoga focus kahi aur chale jayega maza to bahut aayega class padhne mein par result nahi aayega hai na right okay so i hope this is clear to all of you you have to take the cost of the previous owner hmm. there are few assets the cost of which is nil okay chalo <clears throat> now let me start today with taxability of shares shares ka jo taxability humne aapko already bata diya short term long term ab iska calculation kaise hoga goodwill If it is self-generated goodwill, the cost is nil, and if it is purchased goodwill, you have depreciated and got the cost till first April twenty twenty. After that, let it lie as it is. Suppose twenty for twenty five, you have sold the goodwill. Whatever you get profit, it will be treated as short term capital gain. Now, bonus shares. You know that on original shares. कंपनीज अब बोनस का कॉन्सेप्ट क्या है ये अकाउंट्स और लॉ में हमने पढ़ा है फिर भी टू मिनट्स में ब्रीफली आई रिवाइज इफ यू हैव गॉट ह्यूज प्रॉफिट्स व्हिच यू हैव फ्लोड बैक इन द बिजनेस यू हैव अर्न द प्रॉफिट बट यू डिट डिस्ट्रीब्यूट डिविडेंड अपने रिजर्व्स में डाले गए तो ओवर द पीरियड योर रिजर्व आर ग्रोइंग लाइक दिस नाउ कैन यू कन्वर्ट योर रिजर्व इन कैपिटल बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ बोनस शेयर इज नो कैश इज कमिंग इन just you are reducing your reserves increasing your capital and when you are increasing capital bonus shares you are giving free of cost to your existing shareholders so bonus shares if they are issued after 1st april 2001 the cost is nil bonus shares if they are issued before 2001 it is like fair market value as on the date of the issue okay right original shares which form the basis of entitlement amount actually paid for acquiring the original shares okay or ab right shares to right shares ka cost aur kaise hoga i think i have given one example and it will be more clear over there so pura shares se related i am making you do <coughs> पहले पूरा शेयर्स कर रहे हैं गोइंग लिटिल डिफरेंट वे देन द मटेरियल देन आई गो टू कन्वर्शन ऑफ कैपिटल एसेट एंड ऑल ओके चल लेटेस्ट टेकअप एवरीथिंग अबाउट द कैपिटल गेन एंड 
राइट एंड बोनस शेयर्स ये देखो इफ बोनस शेयर्स आर इश्यूड बिफोर वन फोर टू थाउजेंड वन कॉस्ट ऑफ बोनस शेयर इज द एफ एम बी बट इफ दे आर इश्यूड आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड वन द कॉस्ट ऑफ द बोनस शेयर्स इज नील पीरियड ऑफ होल्डिंग विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ इश्यू ऑफ बोनस शेयर so suppose we are having 1000 shares these are all my own made examples you should pause and note it down ab pura hum notebook mein nahi likhenge jo likhana hai main aapko likha rahi hu one i think i must have printed this also we'll check it 1000 at the rate of 10 10000 bonus shares are purchased sorry original shares bonus shares are issued in the ratio of 1 for every 2 held देखो लैंग्वेज देखो डियर स्टूडेंट्स बोनस शेयर्स आर गिवन इन द रेशियो ऑफ वन इज टू टू वन बोनस शेयर फॉर एवरी टू हेल्ड वन बोनस शेयर फॉर एवरी टू हेल्ड सो वन फॉर टू हेल्ड दो के बदले वन लैंग्वेज इज क्लियर और नॉट वन इज टू मीन वन बोनस शेयर यू आर गेटिंग फॉर टू सो फॉर थाउजेंड हाउ मच बोनस शेयर यू विल गेट फाइव हंड्रेड ये आफ्टर बोनस इश्यू द एवरेज कॉस्ट कम्स डाउन सी आई हैड लुक एट द स्क्रीन थाउजेंड शेयर फॉर टेन थाउजेंड नाउ आई हैव गॉट फाइव हंड्रेड बोनस शेयर फॉर नील नाउ आई हैव गॉट फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड शेयर फॉर टेन थाउजेंड देखो कैलकुलेटर टेन थाउजेंड डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन एवरेज कॉस्ट पर शेयर इज इट कमिंग डाउन आफ्टर द बोनस इश्यू इज द एवरेज कॉस्ट पर शेयर कमिंग डाउन ये नाउ इफ समन विल से मैम विल यू सेल मी द शेयर एट नाइन रूपी आई मे अग्री पहले नाइन रूपी में नहीं नहीं दस में तो मैं खरीदी हूं मैं कैसे नौ में बेच दू But if someone is asking me now, ma'am, will you sell the share in nine rupees? I'll say okay. I'm still getting a profit of two point three three per share. Are you getting? Uh, after the bonus issue, the average cost per share comes down. After first bonus issue, if there is second bonus issue on original shares plus bonus, second bonus shares will be issued. कभी कभी यू नो बोनस के ऊपर भी बोनस मिलता है एल एन टी इन्फोसिस दीज कंपनीज दे डू लाइक दैट सो मैम सेकेंड बोनस इश्यू विल बी ऑन ओरिजिनल शेयर और बोनस बोनस पे भी बोनस मिलेगा इज माई एग्जाम्पल क्लियर आई एम गोइंग टू वर्कआउट प्रॉब्लम सो इट विल बी वेरी क्लियर नाउ राइट शेयर वट आर द राइट शेयर कंपनी इज कमिंग अप विथ न्यू पब्लिक इश्यू Existing shareholders are given the first chance to purchase the shares. Existing shareholder को बोलते हैं कि हम आप पे already trust करते हैं you all are doing too good. तो आप ना right shares आप ही खरीद लो ठीक है so when additional shares are issued to existing shareholders it is called as right shares so what is the cost of the right shares dear students hmm right shares matlab existing shareholder ko bolte hain ki aapko hum first preference de rahe hain naye issue ka aap already hamare existing shareholder ho but right shareholder might purchase the right shares or he might renounce his right renouncing the right is not selling the shares it's like selling the right clear to all of you cost of the right shares is the actual cost paid to acquire them whereas for right shares renounced the person to whom the right has been transferred the cost for the buyer kya kya pay karega cost he has paid to the company plus amount paid to renouncer अब ये मैम रिनाउंसर क्या है ना ये नहीं समझ में आ रहा है चलो एग्जाम्पल के साथ में करते हैं ये देखो मैंने यहाँ पूरा एग्जाम्पल खुद से टाइप करके सॉल्व किया है यहाँ से दिस माई ओन मेड एग्जाम्पल एंड चेक इफ दिस इज क्लियर और नॉट 
जॉय इज हैविंग ऑफकोर्स आई सॉल्व फुल एट मार्क्स प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो थोड़ा पेशेंस से पढ़ो आज का क्लास सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट है कल का क्लास बेस था डेफिनेशन टैक्सेबिलिटी फॉर्मेट ऑल हाँ और कल हम एग्जामिशन पढ़ेंगे तो आज आप वो कर रहे हो जो एग्जाम में आता है है ना चलो साथ में करते हैं जॉय इज हैविंग थाउजेंड शेयर ऑफ आर टी सी लिमिटेड एट द रेट ऑफ टेन कंपनी ऑफर बोनस वन इज टू टू ओरिजिनल शेयर थाउजेंड थे टेन पे टेन थाउजेंड कंपनी ने बोनस दिए वन फॉर एवरी टू हेल्थ सो फाइव हंड्रेड मोर बोनस शेयर नाउ कंपनी ऑफर्ड राइट इन द रेशियो ऑफ वन इज टू थ्री आफ्टर बोनस इफ दे गिव राइट शेयर वेदर इट इज अकाउंट क्लास और लॉ क्लास और टैक्स क्लास यू शुड नो दिस आफ्टर बोनस इफ दे गिव राइट शेयर आर बोनस शेयर ऑल्सो एलिजिबल फॉर राइट आंसर इज येस so right shares is offered one is to three one for every three held to aapke paas to 1500 share the to aapko right shares kitne mile 500 ab joy ne kya kiya joy aapke paas you have got a right to purchase 500 shares first abhi tak public ko we have not given but joy to you we have given 500 dear students these bonus shares right shares by bank what i am teaching you see your mcqs at least two mcqs will come from this only for sure now they have purchased 60% so 500 ka 60% kitna aa raha hai 300 usne khareed liye aur 40% 500 ye 500 ka 40% मतलब 200, 200 उसने रिनाउंस कर दिए 200 हंड्रेड शेयर सी जॉय हैज गॉट अ राइट टू परचेज 500 हंड्रेड शेयर ही परचेज थ्री हंड्रेड शेयर एट फिफ्टीन एंड टू हंड्रेड शेयर ही हैज गिवन द राइट टू अदर सी जॉय परचेज सिक्सटी परसेंट शेयर एंड ही रिनाउंस फोर्टी परसेंट शेयर टू स्माइल स्माइल को बोला तुम ले लो मैं अपना राइट right तुमको दे रहा हूं मेरा राइट right लेके जाओ एंड बाय द शेयर फ्रॉम कंपनी सो जॉय इज गेटिंग थ्री पर शेयर सिक्स हंड्रेड रुपीज इज नॉट सेल ऑफ शेयर इट इज सेल ऑफ राइट सेल ऑफ शेयर नहीं है सेल ऑफ क्या है ये राइट उसने अपना राइट right सेल कर दिया वॉट इज द कॉस्ट हाँ राइट का तो कोई कॉस्ट नहीं है ना मेरे पास इन हिंदी वी कॉल इट हक आई हैड दिस राइट टू परचेज फाइव हंड्रेड शेयर थ्री हंड्रेड शेयर आई परचेज एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड स्टोरी इज ओवर नाउ टू हंड्रेड शेयर एट द रेट ऑफ थ्री सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज द इनकम इसमें कॉस्ट क्या है नील दिस इज ट्रीटेड एज शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन स्टार मार्केट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एम सी क्यू इनकम फ्रॉम सेल ऑफ राइट इज ट्रीटेड एज शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन नाउ वॉट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द शेयर फॉर स्माइल जॉय को तो कितने में मिले राइट शेयर थ्री हंड्रेड फिफ्टी स्माइल स्माइल हैज पे परचेज टू हंड्रेड शेयर एट द रेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन टू कंपनी कंपनी को तो ही इज गिविंग फिफ्टीन रुपीज हु स्माइल एंड ही इज ऑल्सो गिविंग टू हंड्रेड शेयर इन टू थ्री टू जॉय तो स्माइल को टू हंड्रेड शेयर कितने में पड़े एटीन फिफ्टीन रुपीज इज पेइंग टू कंपनी एंड थ्री रुपीज इज पेइंग टू जॉय टू टेक द राइट ऑफ जॉय जॉय से मेरे को नहीं चाहिए दो सौ शेयर तुम ले लो थ्री रुपीज पर शेयर मुझे दे दो जॉय के लिए शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन एंड स्माइल कॉट इट दिस इज आई एम सेइंग फुल प्रूफ एग्जांपल पॉज द वीडियो आई एल रिमूव ऑल माय मार्किंग्स सो दैट यू कैन क्विकली राइट इट वन मिनट या 
आप लिखो होल एग्जाम्पल आई वॉन्ट यू टू राइट एंड स्कोर मार्क्स कैन यू लेट मी नो दोटेंडिंग लाइव इज दिस क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू आर नॉट पता नहीं काफी जगह दिख नहीं रहा है लाइक आई कैन सी टॉप मैसेजेस अभिषेक एंड ऑल बट नॉट वेरी क्लियर सो प्लीज कमेंट बिलो ऑल क्लियर पॉज द वीडियो राइट इट डाउन इमीडिएटली आई एम सॉल्विंग वन क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस करें आपके मटीरियल में भी प्रिंटेड होगा ये क्वेश्चन एक मिनट देख लेते हैं कैपिटल गेन कन्वर्शन एंड ऑल आई विल डू थोड़ा बाद में आज ही करेंगे थोड़ा सा बाद में अभी हम ये कर रहे हैं ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ प्रॉब्लम इन माई मटीरियल ये मटीरियल इज पी डी एफ इज देयर इन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप so you can go back any time and take this yeah chalo pratap has held 500 shares of abc limited at 30 on 27 abc limited made right issue to existing shareholder one for every five held so kitne 100 shares right shares one by five one fifth ठीक है, फॉर एवरी एट द रेट ऑफ ट्वेंटी प्रताप इंस्टेड ऑफ एक्सरसाइजिंग इज राइट टू ऑप्टेन हैज एक्सरसाइज द राइट टू रिनाउंस इन फेवर ऑफ रजत प्रताप बोल रहा है मेरे को राइट शेयर मिल रहे हंड्रेड मेरे को एक भी नहीं चाहिए हाँ एंड ही रिनाउंस इट इन फेवर ऑफ रजत एट द रेट ऑफ थर्टीन सो थाउजेंड इन टू थर्टीन थर्टीन हंड्रेड इज शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन फॉर मिस्टर प्रताप Pratap has got a right on 500 shares, 100 right shares. Pratap को मिल सकते थे वो बोल रहा है मुझे नहीं होना रजत तुम ले लो मेरे को तेरह रुपए पर शेयर दे दो टू ट्रांसफर माई राइट टू यू सो हंड्रेड इंटू थर्टीन थर्टीन हंड्रेड शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन ना डिटर्मिन द नेचर एंड अमाउंट ऑफ कैपिटल गेन टैक्सीबल इन हैंड ऑफ द प्रताप इट विल बी शॉर्ट टर्म कैपिटल गेन What will be the cost of the acquisition of shares for Rajat? Rajat के लिए cost कितना होगा? Thousand, sorry यार hundred. Hundred into thirteen. Thirteen hundred किसको pay किया? Pratap को. Or hundred into twenty. Twenty per right share we were getting. Two thousand he has paid to company. So what's total cost for him? Three thousand three hundred. Five marks question. and i feel it super scoring easy kuch to comment karo samajh mein aa raha hai nahi aap log live attend kar rahe ho i am telling you trust one thing from deepthi ma'am rather than watching as recording yeah of course i duly respect my students who are working and having full season september end tak to wo log raat mein dekh rahe hain theek hai koi baat nahi par jo log live attend kar rahe hain wo to comment karo ki 27 क्वेश्चन आपको समझ में आया या नहीं ऑल क्लियर यस आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग शेयर विल गो टू कन्वर्शन एंड stock in trade and all those concepts finish writing answer all clear chalo thank you ha huh. so pratap didn't want a single share he just renounced his right so for pratap 100 share into 13 1300 short term capital gain and for rajat he has paid 1300 to pratap and he will pay 2000 to company 3300 he will it will cost okay chalo next concept i want to take up now 
आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन दिस टाइम द नोट्स प्रिंटेड टू सेव आर टाइम थोड़ा सा चलो कन्वर्शन ऑफ डिबेंचर्स इन टू शेयर यू आर नो वेन कंपनी नीड लॉन्ग टर्म लोन दे इशू डिबेंचर्स सो डिबेंचर्स इन रिडीमेबल डिबेंचर तो इशू नहीं कर सकते तो जनरली डिबेंचर्स से आर रिडीमेबल आफ्टर सिक्स ईयर्स बट आफ्टर सिक्स ईयर्स इफ द कंपनी इज नॉट हैविंग मनी टू रीपे टू डिबेंचर होल्डर्स और फॉर अदर रीजन कैन दे कन्वर्ट द डिबेंचर्स इन टू शेयर येस डिबेंचर होल्डर्स वी आर नॉट पेइंग यू मनी इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वी आर पेइंग यू शेयर या सो एनी ट्रांसफर बाय वे ऑफ कन्वर्शन ऑफ डिबेंचर्स इन टू एनी फॉर्म ऑफ शेयर इट इज नॉट अ ट्रांसफर समझ में आ रहा है डिबेंचर होल्डर्स को आप डिबेंचर्स के बदले शेयर दे रहे हो तो इट इज अ ट्रांसफर डिबेंचर तो खत्म हो जा रहा है और शेयर आ रहे हैं बट कैपिटल गेन नहीं लगेगा बट ऑन द सेल ऑफ द शेयर विल देर बी कैपिटल गेन आंसर इज येस वेरी इजी वेरी स्कोरिंग रिडम्शन ऑफ डिबेंचर्स इज टैक्सेबल एज इट अमाउंट टू एक्सटिंग्विशमेंट ऑफ राइट हमने पढ़ा था ना कल Extinguishment of right is also like a transfer. So you have redeemed the debentures. अपने debentures redeem कर दिए, तो it is taxable as extinguishment of the right. Cost of debentures will be the cost of the shares. See, dear students, you had ten thousand debentures, and now you have got ten thousand worth shares. So what is the cost of the shares? Cost of debentures. Period of holding will start from the date of the purchase of debentures. Hmm? Period of holding will start from the date of the purchase of the debentures, which are converted into shares. Indexation will start from the date of holding of shares. Huh? Now, what do you mean by these points? It will be clear with this example. Problem number twenty-six. I have written here. but it is already solved dear students for all of you debentures are purchased in 2013 14 for thousand ye sab khud se banaye hue example hai that's what i feel is every teacher's purpose to make the learning for students easy so you comment below the video whether it is clear or not hmm? debentures are purchased cost of the debentures is 1000 Debentures are converted into shares. Huh? In eighteen and nineteen, debentures are converted into shares. It is exempt from tax. No tax will be paid. Huh? What will be the cost of shares? Cost of debentures. Now, these debentures are sold for five thousand. Okay. So what is the cost of the shares? Are you getting? The ventures are converted into shares. No capital gain. Shares are sold. बिल्कुल capital gain लगेगा. Sale consideration कितना है? Five thousand. Cost of shares कितना है? Cost of the ventures. But indexation should start not from thirteen and fourteen. Are you all with me? इंडेक्सेशन थर्टीन फोर्टीन से शुरू नहीं होगा इंडेक्सेशन विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम एटीन एंड नाइनटीन बिकॉज दैट्स द इयर वेन शेयर आर बोर्न एटीन एंड नाइनटीन यस एंड दिस इज ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री नाउ एटीन एंड नाइनटीन में इंडेक्स रेट्स कितना था सी आई आई टू एटी ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री में थ्री थर्टी में तो जो चीज 280 में अवेलेबल थी उसकी वैल्यू 331 थर्टी वन हो गई जो थाउजेंड की है उसकी वैल्यू इंडेक्स कॉस्ट कितना है 1182 एंड यू हैव लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल सी दिस प्रॉब्लम इज ऑलरेडी सॉल्व फॉर यू टेक अ पॉज एंड टेल मी क्लियर और नॉट अ टीचर नीड्स रिस्पॉन्स सो दैट वी कैन गो टू नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट बोनस शेयर हो गया राइट right शेयर हो गया कन्वर्शन हो गया तो आई कैन कंबाइन दिस एंड डू वन प्रॉब्लम फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू व्हेन डिबेंचर्स आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू शेयर्स 18 एंड 19 एग्जेम कुछ भी टैक्स पे करने की जरूरत नहीं है बट व्हेन शेयर्स आर सोल्ड दैट टाइम यस 
when shares are sold yes but uh, what is the cost of shares cost of debentures but don't start the indexation from here many table mein pura clear diya hai one day before the exam if you check this table and then these notes period of holding will start from the date of the purchase of debentures but indexation will start from the date of holding the shares 1819 na ki 1314 because uske pehle to shares born hi nahi hue the chalo so we are doing problem number 27 is over we are doing 28 and 29 now these are beautiful concepts i really like it agar ek bar aapka bonus right sab shares correct ho gaya na hum jo next concept karenge wo to bahut easy hai conversion of uh, my capital asset into stock in trade and all okay chalo do this problem in notebook with me problem number 28 kare sath mein ya yeah. कामत परचेज कन्वर्टेबल डिबेंचर्स फॉर फोर लैक एटी एट थाउजेंड ड्यूरिंग मे फिफ्टीन द डिबेंचर्स वर कन्वर्टेड इन टू शेयर इन जून एटीन डू आई नीड टू पे टैक्स वेन डिबेंचर्स आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू शेयर नो दीज शेयर वर सोल्ड इन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी टू तो आपका होल्डिंग पीरियड और आपका इंडेक्सेशन कहाँ से शुरू होगा not from may 15 from june 18 because that's the day when debentures are uh, converted into shares and that's the day when shares are born baat samajh mein aa rahi hai aapko shares when they are born hmm who all are doing live can you please comment below and say a hello ek wish to mil sakta hai na good morning थोड़े लोगों ने किया जो टाइम पे आया अभी कौन कौन ज्वाइन हुए हैं अच्छा नहीं डांटेंगे आज लेट ज्वाइन किए तो भी नहीं डांटेंगे चलो ओके एंड द ब्रोकरेज इज आल्सो गिवन टू यू व्हेन यू हैव सोल्ड द शेयर्स फॉर टेन लैक्स यू हैव पेड अ ब्रोकरेज कंप्यूट द कैपिटल इन इज इट अ ब्यूटिफुल सम एंड दी शेयर इज सोल्ड इन ट्वेंटी टू डिड यू परचेज द शेयर एटीन डिड यू होल्ड इट फॉर मोर देन वन ईयर येस इज इट लॉन्ग टर्म येस answer is yes i feel every student joining live should wish and say something then it's fun taking classes live in youtube otherwise to recording to mil jayenge aapko bahut ha life ka benefit hi wohi hai ki you know just enjoy and clear all your doubts so let the chat box be buzzing this is like a very important table dear students तीन दिन हम कैपिटल गेन कर रहे हैं तो लाइक अ प्रेयर यू स्टडी दिस चलो प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी एट कॉन्सेप्ट क्या है कन्वर्शन ऑफ डिबेंचर्स इनटू शेयर्स प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी एट कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ इनकम ऑफ मिस्टर कामत कामत हैज परचेज डिबेंचर्स इन फिफ्टीन and converted it into shares in june 2018 you can start your answer with note debentures converted into shares in june 2018 debentures converted into shares in june 2018 Is it a transfer? Yes. Debentures तो खत्म हो गए जो आपने कब खरीदे थे Debentures when did you buy? Hmm. Debentures were converted into shares in June two thousand eighteen. is it a transfer answer is yes but it is exempt now in the previous year 22 23 in the previous year 22 23 sale consideration of shares are you all with me shares 
डिबेंचर्स जो शेयर्स में कन्वर्ट हुए थे आपने उनको सेल किया टेन लैख में अगस्त ट्वेंटी टू में लेस ब्रोकरेज ब्रोकरेज स्टैम्प ड्यूटी दीज आर ऑल एक्सपेंसिस रिलेटेड टू ट्रांसफर तो ब्रोकरेज कितना डिडक्ट हो रहा है थर्टी थाउजेंड सो वॉट इज द नेट सेल्स कंसिडरेशन नाइन लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड ओके लेस इंडेक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन वॉट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द शेयर कॉस्ट ऑफ शेयर is equal to cost of debentures because debentures were converted and you got the shares that's 4 lakh 88000 but index will not start from may 15 when you have purchased the debentures it will start from june 18 so 18 and 19 and you have sold in 22 and 23 please take time stick to the presentation When I am writing some steps, it is for some reason. तो आप भी बिल्कुल ना वैसे ही लिखो इसको साथ में लिखो और वैसे ही लिखो. 1819 में when you got debentures converted into shares, what was the index? 280. 20 to 23 का कितना है अभी का? 331. Now look at the screen. 280 has become 331. 488 कितना? So now index cost of acquisition is equal to 4 lakh 88000 into 331 divide by 280 karo kitna aa raha hai 4 lakh 88000 cost of shares is cost of debentures but indexation will start here फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव वन फोर्टी थ्री नाइन्स प्रॉब्लम फॉर फाइव मंथ्स व्हेन डिबेंचर्स आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू शेयर्स आई एम रिपीटिंग नो टैक्स बट व्हेन शेयर्स आर सोल्ड फॉर टेन लैक्स यस रिलेटेड एक्सपेंस यू डिडक्ट नेट सेल कंसिडरेशन लिखो इंडेक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन यस राइट 280 एटी एस बिकम थ्री थर्टी वन फोर एटी एट कितना होगा तो ये आ गया आपका कॉस्ट और इसको डिडक्ट करो तो आपका लॉन्ग टर्म थ्री नाइनटी फोर एट फिफ्टी सेवन इज योर लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन ओवर विद द प्रॉब्लम टेक अ पॉज टू मिनट्स चेक इन टेल या ब्रेक आई गिव इट ट्वेल्व थर्टी डेयर स्टूडेंट्स नॉट नाउ थोड़ा सा पेशेंस रखना है ब्रेकफास्ट अच्छा करके आना है सो दैट यू ऑल गो ऑन एनर्जेटिकली विथ मी फॉर टू एंड हाफ आवर्स यू कैन कीप समथिंग टू ड्रिंक इन बिटवीन चले आगे आई वॉन्ट टू रिपीट conversion of debentures into shares from 13 to 18 no tax but when shares are sold yes tax cost of shares is cost of debentures but indexation will start from the day you converted the debentures into shares because that's the day shares are bought ek aur last problem karte hain from the past exam 28 okay 28 bahut easy tha samajh mein aaya renouncement of the right shares it is treated as short term capital gain 29th problem we are doing now acha problem hai khaimuk furnishes the following data for the previous year equity shares of ab private limited 10000 were sold on 31st may at 350 the above shares 10000 were acquired received as gift from father 5000 so you have to take cost of father but father purchased it in 81 theek hai 2001 ka fmv le lo 
बोनस शेयर्स यू गॉट इन फिफ्टीन जिसका कॉस्ट क्या रहेगा नीन फिर नाइनटीन में वी हैव परचेज मोर शेयर्स उसका कॉस्ट ले लेना इंडेक्स करने के लिए ठीक है अब शेयर सेल करके आपने क्या खरीदा है घर खरीदा सोल्ड द शेयर्स एंड यू परचेज वॉन्ट हाउस फ्रॉम द सेल प्रोसीड्स ओके खाइमुक ऑलरेडी हैज वन हाउस दे कैन होल्ड वन मोर दे कैन परचेज स्टिल दे कैन क्लेम एग्जेम्शन एग्जेम्शन तो मैं कल पढ़ाऊंगी बट ये एक अगर इसमें अभी आ गया है तो इसको अभी कर लेंगे ठीक है ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ प्रॉब्लम चेक करो नंबर बराबर ले रहे हैं या ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ प्रॉब्लम फॉर ऑल द काइंड ऑफ द शेयर इन योर नोटबुक आर यू ऑल विथ मी कमेंट भी लो तो मुझे भी समझ में है कि आपको कितना समझ में आ रहा है एवरी प्रॉब्लम वी आर डूइंग इज डिफरेंट सो नाउ वी आर डूइंग प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ इनकम ऑफ मिस्टर के प्रीवियस ईयर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ओके चल इन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री मे ट्वेंटी टू ये सोल्ड टेन थाउजेंड शेयर्स सेल ऑफ शेयर्स टेन थाउजेंड इंटू थ्री फिफ्टी इंच कितना आ रहा है देखो थर्टी फाइव लैक्स फर्स्ट फाइव थाउजेंड ओरिजिनल शेयर्स कब खरीदे थे वन सिक्स नाइनटीन एटी वन बट एटी वन में तो कोई उसका इंडेक्स नहीं था तो वी विल गेट द फेयर मार्केट वैल्यू फाइव थाउजेंड इन टू फिफ्टी ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड वन Huh? Any time if you have purchased the asset before two thousand one, you bring the fair, bring it to the fair market value of two thousand one, or from there index start. So five thousand shares you have in the fair market value two lakh fifty thousand. In two thousand one, which hundred me available, that abhi kitne ka ho gaya hai three thirty one. What was available in two thousand? वन एंड टू टू थाउजेंड वन एंड टू में वॉट वॉज अवेलेबल इन हंड्रेड हैज बिकम इन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री थ्री थर्टी वन हाँ सी वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द कॉन्सेप्ट वी कैन गो टू द नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट नेक्स्ट एज अ टीचर आई सेट टू आवर्स आई कैन कंप्लीट द कैपिटल गेन बट दैट विल नॉट हेल्प यू तो ये हम प्रैक्टिस बैच है ना सारथी प्रैक्टिस बैच सेम फॉर कॉस्टिंग I solved so many quality good problems from past exams, MTPs, RTPs. You can check in the app. So hundred has become three thirty one two fifty ka index cost of acquisition kitna hoga two lakh fifty thousand into three. Two fifty into three thirty one divided by hundred. Two lakh fifty into three thirty one divided by hundred. It's coming to eight twenty seven five hundred. Original shares ka cost. फिर हम ना bonus issue में ले. Bonus shares two thousand. When did we receive, dear students? Twenty first July fifteen. What is the cost of the bonus shares? Nil. then we purchased more shares purchased shares 25 lakhs on 1st february 2019 25 lakhs me kharide the is the holding period more than 1 year 
नथिंग इवन विल टेक इट एज लिस्टेड शेयर्स सो फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी नाइनटीन को खरीदे और सेल कब किया है सेल पूरे शेयर्स दे हैव सोल्ड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मे ट्वेंटी टू इज इट हेल्प फॉर मोर देन वन ईयर येस सो वॉट विल यू टेक Going little very slow, or you all are able to do bonus shares. का तो cost नहीं लोगा. अब 25 लाख में जो share खरीदे February 19. तो index कब का लेंगे? 18, 19 और इसको star mark करो यहाँ silly mistake करते हैं students. If you have purchased in February 19 and your financial year should be 18 and 19. So eighteen and nineteen, it is two eighty. Twenty two and twenty three, it has become three thirty one. So what is the index cost of acquisition? Twenty five lakhs into three thirty one divided by two eighty. Twenty five lakhs into three thirty one divided by two eighty. एक्विजिशन इज गिवेन now whatever you are getting is long term take a pause i want to check with all of you one more option after completing this problem pehle isko tally kar lo 35 lakhs minus 827 500 minus 2955 357 that is 2 lakh 82 857 nice computation of income अच्छा है क्लियर है सबको या नाउ हियर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज सपोज इफ ऑप्शन टू ऑप्शन टू इफ ये जो लास्ट के शेयर्स खरीदे थे ना ऑप्शन टू ने अभी तो घर सेल किया है ना तो एग्जेम्शन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच टुमारो बट वन एग्जेम्शन आई कैन टीच टूडे इफ shares are sold and house is purchased write down if shares are sold and house is purchased section 54f exemption can be given are you all with me ha huh? kya becha sell any asset but what do you buy house and you already have one house bus दो से ज्यादा घर नहीं होना तो यू कैन टेक फिफ्टी फोर एग्जेम्शन एंड दैट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन वॉट इज योर नेट सेल कंसिडरेशन यहाँ तो कोई एक्सपेंस नहीं है तो थर्टी फाइव लैक्स वॉट इज योर लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन टू एटी टू एट फिफ्टी सेवन वॉट इज योर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन हाउस घर में आपने कितने पैसे डाले प्लीज रीड द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट If you have not taken the printout, I am reading for all of you. Purchased a residential house of twenty five lakhs. Sale consideration is thirty five lakhs. Then why did you buy the new house for twenty five lakhs? You should have invested full sale consideration. You invested only twenty five lakhs, so only proportionate exemption you will get. Exemption under section fifty four F. 35 फाइव लैक्स सेल कंसिडरेशन में कैपिटल गेन इज टू एटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स में कितना आर यू ओके आई एम डूइंग फुल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एट मार्क्स अलॉन्ग विथ आपका पूरा एग्जामेशन के साथ सो थर्टी फाइव लैक्स में टू एटी टू कैपिटल गेन है ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स में कितना होगा उतना ही एग्जाम होगा इसमें इतना इसमें कितना 
टू लैख टू थाउजेंड टू लैख टू थाउजेंड टू जीरो फोर वन जस्ट राउंडिंग ऑफ डिफरेंस इनकम एंड ऑल ऑलवेज टू बी राउंडेड ऑफ ना हम यहाँ ले रहे हैं ये बात समझ में आ रही है आपको You have sold shares, and there is long-term capital gain against that. You have purchased house. So, can you claim fifty-four F? Answer is yes. How will you claim fifty-four F? Hmm? Sale consideration is thirty-five lakhs and long-term, but you invested only twenty-five lakhs. So, proportionate exemption you will get. How much? This is to exemption. Abhi fir long-term capital gain. टैक्सेबल कितना आएगा बोलो टू एटी टू एट फिफ्टी टू एटी टू एट फिफ्टी सेवन एट लैख एट वन सिक्स टू एटी टू एट फिफ्टी सेवन इज द कैपिटल गेन माइनस टू जीरो टू जीरो फोर वन is the exemption and 80816 is your long term capital gain how is the problem ek aur option batao confused to nahi hoge sure option is suppose option 2 matlab ye problem khatam ho gaya but suppose if these last ye jo shares hai na 3000 shares pehle 5000 share khareede fir 2000 bonus mile fir 3000 shares If three thousand shares are say purchased on first January twenty two, and we are selling one second, ah, dear students, what I am mean saying, three thousand shares are purchased on first January twenty two purchase. But I gave the purchases. Are you bored? Is happening? Why the screen is getting closed? One second, ah. हाँ या प्लीज सी In I have purchased three thousand shares in first January. First January twenty twenty two. Sold. Pure shares. हमने कब सेल किए? Thirty first May twenty two. So you know, then I will make triple column, and this will be short term capital gain. First original shares and bonus shares will be long term capital gain. and this will be short term capital see dear students this is a practice batch but i am not going to miss out on any concept and um, some of the students are we are watching it by 1.5 speed and all this is not a marathon lecture marathon lecture hai 10 12 ghante ka hai playlist mein dekh lo huh to isme main aapko option bata rahi hu you have sold all the shares on 31st may 2022 So if suppose the last shares three thousand were purchased in January, you know, so you can make solve the problems in column, original shares, bonus shares, second purchase. So this will be long term. This will be long term. This will be short term, because you purchase the shares in January and again in May. So you have sold them. So you can do this also. This is a different problem. It's a beautiful problem. Twenty. So here I complete everything about shares, original shares, bonus shares, right shares. के लिए already मैंने printed example आपके book में print किया है. ये रहा आपका material. और ये रहे पूरे examples. हम्म हाँ right का bonus का नहीं है. Sorry, right shares का example नहीं है. इसमें print नहीं है. But I have given you time to write, and if you feel this Sarthi book is good covering the concept, you can order. I don't want any profit in this book selling, huh? 
जो भी इसका कॉस्ट है और कुरियर है दैट वी विल चार्ज एंड यू कैन मैसेजेस ओके राइट वन मोर थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक एंड देन आई गो टू द नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर टूडे कन्वर्शन ऑफ डिवेंचर्स आफ्टर द ब्रेक एक मिनट है डियर स्टूडेंट कभी कभी ये पूछते हैं एक ही बात वंस ओनली इन द एग्जाम दे हैव आज दिस टू मिनट्स आई शेयर विथ ऑल ऑफ यू ये या इफ इक्विटी शेयर्स आर लिस्टेड इन विच एस टी टी इज पेड ओके एंड शेयर्स आर परचेज बिफोर फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड एटीन देन कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन If shares are purchased before first February eighteen, then cost of acquisition will be fair market value of the shares and the sale consideration, whichever is lower, that or cost whichever is higher. हम ये सब क्या है जोल जोल. See, you are purchasing the shares at original purchase cost, but if these shares are purchased before first February two thousand eighteen. They'll give you the FMV on this date. यहां से ना एस टी टी का कॉन्सेप्ट और सब शुरू हुआ था तो फेयर मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ द शेयर ऑन फर्स्ट फेब्रुवरी टू थाउजेंड एटीन और द सेल कंसिडरेशन विच एवर इज लोअर दैट और ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट विच एवर इज हाई ठीक है राइट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द शेयर्स कभी कभी ये पूछते हैं बाकी तो मैंने आपको सब बता दिया ये देखो फेयर मार्केट वैल्यू और सेलिंग प्राइस इन ट्वेंटी टू और फेयर वैल्यू ऑन जनवरी एटीन विच एवर इज लोअर सो सिक्स थर्टी दैट और ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट विच एवर इज हाई दैट विल बी योर कॉस्ट आपको समझ में आ रहा है एग्जाम्पल राइट right. so fair market value or selling price whichever is lower that or original cost 2017 whichever is higher to 920 matlab this will be your cost and then routine capital gain hmm? this or this whichever is lower fair market value or selling price whichever is lower so this this or original cost original cost is 50 but fmv is zyada hai to fmv le 790 or 630 whichever is lower so 630 that or 750 whichever is high so this theek hai all clear okay i'm pausing in case someone wants to note it down you can this is a very nice concept uska concept yahan pe hai कि यू हैव टू टेक द लोअर ऑफ द एफएमवी एंड फुल ये आ चुका है ऑलरेडी दो बार एज अ टीचर आई कैन नॉट स्किप दिस पार्ट एंड देन आफ्टर द ब्रेक चेक योर वॉचेस थ्री मिनट्स एग्जैक्टली टेक अ ब्रेक एंड वी आर असेंबलिंग बैक फॉर द नेक्स्ट कन्वर्शन ऑफ स्टॉक इन ट्रेक राइट
All right, are you all also back? Let us continue. Okay, let us continue. Yes. You all want some notes for that write or bonus shares, then let me know in the message or is my table clear to you? One table I started with example. Dekh lo. Usko likhna hai aapko. Ya likhana hai aapko. I'll make you write that. No problem. It will take little more time. Five minutes. But that's okay. Clear? I think most of the examples. Ye wale to sam mene dal di hai usme. The PDF material. But this one is missed out. Ye. Right or bonus issue ka jo concept hai na. Ye wala. Sab aage isme bonus shares. This is my own made example. Chalo. Now, we have seen that when there is a transfer of asset, you need to pay capital gain. Correct, dear students? If there is a transfer of capital asset, you need to pay the capital gain. Okay? Here, so many times, asset is converted into stock in trade. Do you need to pay the capital gain? Stock in trade is not an asset. Suppose I'm having jewelry as my capital asset. Okay, I'll say this example orally. Ye AK cup concept hai. We are working out problems of capital gain, but with variety, different, different. So now what I'm saying, I have a diamond necklace. Nahi hai mere paas koi diamond necklace. Example. Bhoorun. So if I have a diamond necklace, say for 5 lakh rupees, and now I decided to start a jewelry showroom. So instead of selling my diamond necklace, I converted diamond necklace as stock in trade. Or I display me laga diya usko. So when my capital asset is not transferred, it's not sold, but it is converted into stock in trade. Ki aad se ye capital asset kya ho gaya? Um, stock of necklaces purchase and sale for my business. So actually, have I sold my capital asset diamond necklace to my business? Answer is yes. But when I have transferred it in stock, I have purchased it in 2004. Mein. I have converted it into stock in trade in 18. But I cannot pay the capital gain in 18. Because abhi to ye showroom mein pada hai. when this is sold in the showroom, say 22, that time I need to pay the capital gain. So now I am solving problems. Exception to the rule, but that because of some reason, capital gain may be postponed. For example, my property was compulsorily acquired by government for a flyover, metro, road widening. Ke liye government ne meri zameen le li. 2017 mein. But they paid me the sale consideration in 22. So when is it taxable? 22. But when the property was transferred? 70. So indexation kahan tak hoga? 70. Are you getting? We are doing exception to rule problem wherein the year of transfer and the year of taxable of capital gain is not same. I want to repeat, I have converted 
my property into stock in trade do do example main sath mein bata rahi hu maine convert kar diya property into stock in trade mera personal necklace i have given into business isko bhi showroom mein rakh do bech do 2018 is it a transfer yes should i pay capital gain yes but it's not sold yet dear students when it will be sold in 22 so capital gain kab milega 22 mein but indexation is the year of transfer and year of transfer is when my personal asset i have converted into stock in trade maine solved problem aapke liye diya hai abhi hum dekhenge and it will be very clear chalo let me check same way compulsory acquisition kab kiya government ne 2017 mein should i pay the tax yes बट मैम 17, 18 तो प्राइस भी डिसाइड नहीं था कि कितना दे विल पे मी द सेल कंसीडरेशन हाउ विल यू पे द टैक्स सो कैन यू पे द टैक्स इन 22 व्हेन यू हैव रिसीव द मनी पैसे तो आए हैं सेल कंसीडरेशन के तब तो मैं टैक्स पे करूं सिंपल लॉजिक चलो इन आर मटेरियल व्हिच आई हैव गिवन टू ऑल ऑफ यू लो कैपिटल गेन में फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम बट अदरवाइज रनिंग नोट्स है तो 21 तक आपका बिजनेस हेड था 22 से शुरू कर रहे हैं राइट सी एग्जांपल इट्स ऑलरेडी सोल्व फॉर यू क्वेश्चन आल्सो आंसर आल्सो दीज आर माय ओन मेड एग्जांपल बट ये थोड़े जम्बो हैं इतना लिखने का टाइम नहीं है हमारे पास तो हमने प्रिंट कर दी है या ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी यू हैव परचेज द लैंड फॉर फाइव लैक ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी Purchase the land for five lakh. Okay, sixteen seventeen converted it into stock in trade. मैंने तो land खरीदी थी two thousand two three में sixteen seventeen में land बेचना करना you know real estate I started my business and I converted into stock in trade. That time the fair market value was eight lakh. Okay, but no tax is to be payable in this year. अभी तो आई हैव जस्ट कन्वर्टेड माय लैंड इनटू स्टॉक इन ट्रेड माय ज्वेलरी इनटू शोरूम इज इट सोल्ड नो इट इज सोल्ड एज स्टॉक इन ट्रेड सोल्ड फॉर नाइन लैक्स तो कन्वर्शन ऑफ असेट इनटू स्टॉक इन ट्रेड कैपिटल गेन लगना चाहिए यस स्टॉक इन ट्रेड जो बिकेगा वो क्या होगा आपका बिजनेस इनकम स्टॉक इन ट्रेड मतलब बिजनेस में आया कितने में एट लैक्स सेल कितने में हुआ नाइन लैख वन लैख इज बिजनेस इनकम एंड कैपिटल गेन आई विल नॉट पे इन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन बिकॉज सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन इट वॉज पुट टू बी सोल्ड बिका तो नहीं ना सोल्ड इन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री बट इंडेक्सेशन विल बी अलाउड ओनली टिल सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन स्टॉप स्टॉप वेर डियर स्टूडेंट इंडेक्सेशन विल बी अलाउड ओनली टिल इयर ऑफ ट्रांसफर वॉट इज द इयर ऑफ ट्रांसफर this 16 and 17 chalo now in 20 to 23 business income sale of the land business mein na land khareedna bechna mera business hai so i have sold it in how much dear students 9 lakh okay right one second yeah and what is the cost 8 lakhs so what is 1 lakh rupees business income now कैपिटल गेन अभी लगेगा यस टेक अ पॉज एंड टेल मी लैंड इज कन्वर्टेड फ्रॉम कैपिटल सेट टू स्टॉक इन ट्रेड इन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन सो इंडेक्सेशन टिल सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन दैट्स द इयर ऑफ ट्रांसफर वेन आई एम पेइंग द कैपिटल गेन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉट इज द सेल कंसिडरेशन एट लैक्स कॉस्ट कितना है आपका फाइव लैक आपको बात समझ में आ रही है The day I converted into stock in trade की आज से ये मेरा asset गया bye bye ये लो आपको मैं business को बेच दे रही हूँ I am selling my personal asset to my business what was the fair market value एट lakh can I take that as the sale consideration yes when did I purchase the property फाइव lakh when in टू थाउजेंड टू एंड थ्री वेन इंडेक्स वॉज वन नॉट फाइव इन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन वेन आई कन्वर्टेड टू सिक्सटी फोर Take a pause. I'm paying capital gain in twenty two, twenty three, but indexation sixteen seventeen. Takhi aega. Yes. 
so there's a long term capital loss to be carried forward nice solved example give some response all clear or not until now ac ac yaad ho gaya ki response dena hai all clear all clear nahi to at least ac type karna hai nice now let us check the point conversion of capital asset into stock in trade come within the ambits of transfer it's a transfer and hence taxable capital gain is calculated in the year when stock in trade is sold sale consideration is the fmv as on the date of the conversion aapko pointers samajh mein aa rahe hain what is the sale consideration fair market value the day i converted my personal asset into business what was the fair market value even though the tax liability is deferred to 20 to 23 indexation will be given only till 16 17 because that's the year of transfer capital gain you will calculate fair market value minus the cost of acquisition ha huh. कैपिटल गेन में जो फेयर मार्केट वैल्यू सेल कंसिडरेशन है बिजनेस के लिए वो ही क्या हो जाएगा कॉस्ट कैपिटल गेन वॉट एवर इज द सेल कंसिडरेशन दैट इज ओनली द कॉस्ट फॉर द बिजनेस नाइस क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू चलो सो वन कॉन्सेप्ट वन प्रॉब्लम वी आर डूइंग कमिंग फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स with me solve problem number 23 in class problem number 23 saath mein karenge hmm ajay converts his plot which is purchased in july 16 for 80000 in stock in trade in march 19 to march 19 tak you will get the indexation clear is the land held for more than 2 years yes is it long term yes indexation you will get only till 2019 and what is the fair market value 190 and what is that 190 dear students 190 is treated as your sale consideration now stock in trade is sold as 225 business mein humne जो सेल कंसिडरेशन है कैपिटल गेन के लिए दैट्स द कॉस्ट फॉर द बिजनेस फाइंड आउट द टैक्सेबल इनकम एंड इफ सो अंडर विच हेड एंड हाउ तो वी आर वी आर सेलिंग द स्टॉक इन ट्रेड एज लैंड इन जनवरी 23 तो कैपिटल गेन कब पे होगा 20 टू 23 बट इंडेक्स ओनली टिल द इयर ऑफ ट्रांसफर 2019 कितना छोटा सा प्रॉब्लम है but for 5 to 6 marks very scoring chalo let us take up this problem problem number kya chal raha hai aapka 23 problem number 23 we are doing now reading the problem carefully is clear to all of you problem number 23 conversion of debentures into shares samajh mein aaya computation of income of mr ajay which year dear students previous year 20 to 23 but don't take indexation 331 matlab chalo it is sold in stock in trade in january so sabse pehle i'll take business income sale consideration sale consideration 225000 less cost of acquisition of land 
FMV. I want you to write like this. Business mein aapne kitne mein beche land 225. Cost was the fair market value. Jis din business mein leke aay. Us din fair market value kitni thi 190. So is it thirty five thousand business income? Now capital gain. Up capital gain. Sale consideration of land. The day you converted the land into stock in trade, fair market value one lakh ninety thousand less. Index cost of acquisition because this land is held for more than two years. So if you hold for more than two years, age, so it will become long term capital gain indexation. I got land. Cup purchase. Kiye the. Dekho eighty thousand. Me. When did you purchase? Two thousand sixteen seventeen. When did you uh, convert in stock in trade? Convert in stock in trade. किस ईयर में कन्वर्ट किए थे मार्च नाइनटीन एटीन ऑन नाइनटीन यस सो लेट अस सी द इंडेक्स ऑफ सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन या यू कैन गिव इन दैट बॉक्स आंसर फास्टर टू सिक्स टू एटीन Now is this clear to all of you? Two sixty four has become two eighty, dear students. So eighty thousand has become how much? So many of you are attending live right now, but no comment. Can I know who all are attending? Write your names, please. Eighty thousand into two eighty divided by two sixty four. Eighty four eight four eight. Nice, clear to all of you. You purchased in sixteen seventeen, eighteen nineteen March nineteen. You converted it into stock in trade. March nineteen when you converted it into stock in trade, you should have paid capital gain. But अभी तो stock in trade में convert किया अभी sale तो नहीं हुआ ना sale consideration पैसे तो नहीं आए ना. But indexation only till eighteen nine because that's the year when it was converted. So this is the Sale consideration. When you converted it into stock in trade, what was the sale consideration? I mean, say FMV one ninety. That will be the sale consideration here, and that will be the cost for business. Business will say, "Mujhe to one ninety me de raha dipti ma," or he is selling two twenty five. For that, business income. And this is your ka ho gaya long term capital gain. Okay, right. One lakh five thousand one fifty two. That is long term capital gain, and thirty five thousand. Aapka business income. So total income kitna aa raha hai? See the problem is very small, but uh, there are technicalities in capital gain, dear students, which you should understand. Thirty five thousand. Plus one zero five one five two one lakh forty thousand one fifty two. Beautiful one concept, one solved problem, and one we are solving now. So this completes your one part. All clear? Shall. these are notes this is solved problem and this unsolved we have solved now i'm going to another compensation on compulsory acquisition i told you your land may be compulsory acquired in 17 so indexation will come till 17 but capital gain we will pay in 20 to 23 when they will give you the money kabhi kabhi to compulsory lene ke 2 saal baad to they tell you ki how much will be the sale consideration And the year when you receive the sale consideration, that's the year when you need to pay tax. See, this is problem number twenty-four. Is my own created story. I hope it is clear to all of you. First July twelve. Building is purchased for five lakhs. 
फर्स्ट जुलाई ट्वेल्व फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2016 कंपलसरी अक्वायर्ड बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्टॉप इंडेक्सेशन टिल हियर गवर्नमेंट ने ले लिया ट्रांसफर हो गया बट नो टैक्स पेबल सेल कंसिडरेशन डिसाइडेड बाय गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन एटीन नो टैक्स पेबल इन थर्टी एथ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी टू कंपेन्सेशन इज रिसीव एट लैक्स यस नाउ कैपिटल गेन आई विल पे इन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री बट इंडेक्सेशन ओनली टिल सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन स्टॉप यहाँ पे स्टॉप है ना ना समाइम्स इफ दे पे द कंसिडरेशन I'm saying, sir, बहुत कम है नहीं और चाहिए तो आफ्टर फाइटिंग द केस आई मे गेट एनहैंस्ड कंपेन्सेशन एनहैंस्ड कंपेन्सेशन इज द एडिशनल कंपेन्सेशन विच आई एम गेटिंग फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट सी आई एम गेटिंग इट इन एप्रिल ट्वेंटी थ्री कैन आई टैक्स दिस इन ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर वन लैक ये वॉट विल बी द कॉस्ट इन एनहैंस्ड कंपेन्सेशन मिल बिकॉज एट प्लस नाइन देखो एट लैख में हमने सेल किया और उसका इंडेक्स कॉस्ट था सपोज पांच लाख रुपए इंडेक्स करेंगे बट पांच देन वन लाख सेल कंसिडरेशन इज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ दिस ओनली नो समझ में आ रहा है इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ टोटल सेल कंसिडरेशन सो ओरिजिनल सेल कंसिडरेशन माइनस इंडेक्स कॉस्ट यू हैव पेड द कैपिटल गेन सो व्हाट विल बी द कॉस्ट इन वन लैख नील क्योंकि आपने पूरा कॉस्ट ओरिजिनल में ही डिडक्ट कर लिया and now because government paid this enhanced compensation late they should have paid dekho properties taken in april 16 and government you are paying me the compensation in 2020 23 you need to pay interest interest what is received from compulsory acquisition of property by government is taxable in income from other sources 50% flat deduction super duper important for mcq <clears throat> continuously i am saying so just check this example iska answer bhi hai we are doing one solved problem and then as if i am taking regular batch dear students main roz hi bol rahi hu ye crash course nahi hai but if you are committed to attend every day that to live with me you will get a different kind of benefit for sure रिजल्ट आएगा और आप बहुत अच्छे मार्क्स से पास हो टुडे ऑन माय इंस्टा फेसबुक यूट्यूब जस्ट चेक द रिजल्ट ऑफ सीएमए एग्जाम आई नो आई एल शेयर विथ ऑल ऑफ यू द मैसेजेस आई हैव रिसीव फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट की लिटरली राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस चैप्टर वाइज एग्जाम और ऐसे एक कॉन्सेप्ट पढ़ा उसका सोल्ड एग्जाम्पल किया अनसोल्ड अभी हमने ये कॉन्सेप्ट पड़ा इसका सॉल्ट अब इसका आंसर देखो इन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री वॉट इज द सेल कंसिडरेशन फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट एट लैक्स आई परचेज इट इन हाउ मच फाइव लैक्स वेन ट्वेल्व एंड थर्टीन वेन डिड आई कंपल्सरी ट्रांसफर सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन बस मैम हम कैपिटल गेन तो कब पे कर रहे हैं ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री बट वेन इज इट कंपल्सरी ट्रांसफर सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन so 200 has become 264 5 lakh ka kitna hoga jo cheez 200 rupaye mein milti thi 13 mein in 17 it has become 264 so what is available for lakh how much 5 lakh if you write the formula here this is cost of acquisition 264 is the cii of transfer divide by cii of acquisition theek hai right and you are getting the capital gain now वन लाख रुपीज यू आर गेटिंग इन ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एनहैंस्ड कंपेन्सेशन इज इट टैक्सेबल एज लॉन्ग टर्म कैपिटल गेन ये बिकॉज इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस ओनली अगर यही एट लैख की जगह वन लैख एक्स्ट्रा मिलता तो लॉन्ग टर्म ही होता ना वॉट विल बी द कॉस्ट नील एंड नाउ इंटरेस्ट हाउ मच यू हैव रिसीव फिफ्टी थाउजेंड वेर इट विल बी टैक्सेबल अदर सोर्स या एंड फिफ्टी परसेंट do you feel is it worth it to take this textbook rather than me giving everything pdf pdf or panno me se acche to it's just 281 pages order this book and whatever is the printing cost and courier charges that's the only thing we will take and we will send you the book by courier okay three working days are required to reach wherever across india you are 
we have sent so many books to punjab to chennai to karnool to mumbai so definitely but 3 days are required so make sure you don't order last moment fir jaise order karte hain ma'am abhi tak book nahi hai book nahi hai to koi magic nahi hai koi superman nahi baitha hai yahan sab ek way mein kaam hota hai theek hai ma is this clear to you sale consideration and 50% From enhanced compensation, interest received, fifty percent standard deduction, compulsory. You have to take. Okay, right. Chalo, let us solve twenty fifth problem now in class for today. Hmm? Right. Surprise! So many of you are there in the online live, but you don't. You're seeing the efforts of the teacher, but you don't want to respond and share your name and details. Where from you are? and are you attending every day live from 11 o'clock hmm? because when i start very few students are there to wo revision miss ho jata hai beta aapka isliye main puch rahi hu chalo 25th problem hum log class mein kar rahe hain abhi 25th problem government of india compulsorily acquired the land of spider man okay in june 17 and paid compensation in april 22 तो व्हेन विल यू पे द कैपिटल गेन अप्रैल 22 बट सेल कंसीडरेशन कहां तक लेंगे जून 17 मतलब 17 18 एंड दिस लैंड वाज एक्वायर्ड बाय स्पाइडरमैन इन मे 15 करो इसको हां मे 15 मोर देन 2 इयर्स तभी लॉन्ग टर्म जाएगा मिस्टर स्पाइडरमैन क्लेम्ड मोर कंपेंसेशन and court awarded additional compensation 8 lakhs in january 23 but it was received in april so enhanced compensation is also decided in january 23 no compulsory acquisition it is taxable only when you receive so when it will be taxable april 23 compute the taxable capital gain and an expense in connection with compulsory acquisition and for obtaining enhanced compensation is given enhanced compensation is decided in january 23 but received in april 23 so tax ka hoga 23 23 so small problem dates are clear indexation kahan se kahan tak milega 15 se 17 hmm right 25th problem in your notebook is the solved example clear heading likhenge hum compulsory acquisition of land by government of india problem number 25th computation of income for spider man yes shall we continue spider man ka problem chalo start with sales consideration of land hmm. land ke liye government ne kitne paise diye aapko in 2223 the government paid compensation 5 lakh less index cost of acquisition land was acquired for 3 lakh in 2015 may so 15 16 and it is compulsory acquired by government in june 17 and 18 bolo ye clear hai sabko ma'am we are paying the tax in 20 to 23 that doesn't mean you blindly take 331 331 leke khatam karo aise nahi hota no clear तो थ्री लैक्स अब इंडेक्स लिखना पड़ेगा आई एल सी यू ऑल ऑल्सो सी योर मटीरियल या फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन इट वॉज टू फिफ्टी फोर सेवनटीन एंड एटीन इट इज टू सेवेंटी टू सो टू फिफ्टी फोर हैज बिकम टू सेवेंटी टू थ्री लैक का कितना होगा इंडेक्स कॉस्ट जो चीज 254 में मिल रही थी उसकी वैल्यू एट द टाइम ऑफ ट्रांसफर 272 हो गई तो एक्सक्यूज़ 
This cough is not going. Maybe continuous daily classes as training. And let you know the schedule for tomorrow being visagen. It's not that uh, we want chutti ki sab log bahar honge, but the problem is power cut bahut hota hai. Visagen ke din. So I'm not sure I'll be able to take class tomorrow or not. I'll put a message in Telegram group. Okay. Tentative, it will not be there. Directly, the class will be on Friday. If I'm going to take early morning, jab power cut na ho ya kuch, tal message you all. Okay. Three lakh into two seventy two divided by two fifty three twenty one two sixty. I hope you all are getting. I am paying capital gain in twenty to twenty three because government ne paise abhi diye mujhe sale consideration. To mile. So out of that, I'll pay capital gain. But this property was transferred to government in seventeen. It's like super easy. One concept, two problem. One concept, two problem. That's how I'm going. I've taken so many crash courses like this at ICI Hyderabad chapter in my own academy. So I know which problem to take and how many problems and how to go by the flow. Is it clear, ya? Aap sabko? Or my presentation bhi sikha rahi ho. Sale consideration. Are you observing everywhere? I'm writing the same way. ये देखो, cost, फिर उसका index, और फिर यहाँ cross multiply, so that we don't have to learn the formula. Two fifty four has become two seventy two three lakh. अगर आप formula देखोगे तो cost of acquisition into CII of year of transfer divided by CII of year of purchase. ये हो गया आपका long term capital gain. कितना आ रहा है long term capital gain? One second, no? mistake है कुछ calculation में एक बार फिर से check करो one seventy eight seven forty one seventy eight seven forty One second, and you see. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I missed sale consideration. We come karna tha na. Yes, yes, yes. Good that you reminded. Thank you. There's a mistake in the problem. Usko correct kar de ham. One minute. I also missed out. Ye dekho bata. Ek baar fir se padho. Expenses in connection of transfer or enhanced compensation. So twenty thousand. Wo bhi to deduct karne padenge na. Yes. From the sale consideration. Expenses we will deduct. Net sale consideration is four eighty. Indexed cost बराबर है. So this will become like one fifty eight. Nice, clear. Yeah. Now, in previous year, twenty three twenty four. Ma'am, enhanced compensation was decided in January twenty three. You know, so why twenty three twenty four? बिकॉज आपको क्या हो रहा है एनहेंस्ड कंपेंसेशन मिल कब रहा है आपको या यू आर रिसीविंग इन अप्रैल ट्वेंटी थ्री एनहेंस्ड कंपेंसेशन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द सेल कंसिडरेशन कितना मिला आपको एनहेंस्ड कंपेंसेशन एट लैक्स Less expenses, forty thousand. Net sales consideration. What will be the cost of acquisition? Enhanced compensation is the additional sale price. So, its cost will be nil. Nil. 
right? Seven lakh sixty thousand expenses you will deduct from the sale consideration, but cost will be nil because full cost you have deducted, dear students, here only, right? So it is nil seven lakh sixty thousand. Now, have you received interest here? No. Okay. Let me just give essay on my own. Income from other sources. Me. Income from other sources. Me. Chalo. Interest received. Essay. Le lete hain. Pachas hazar. Just that you have got uh, fifty thousand rupees interest on enhanced compensation. So will it be taxable in income from other source? Yes. With 50% deduction. 25,000. What will be taxable? Remaining 25,000. What will be the TIR total income? 7,85,000. All right. All clear to all of you. Nice concept, no? Check. Abhika concept. If it is compulsory acquired, it will be taxable in 20 to 23 when you receive enhanced compensation. But the index cost of acquisition uh, and all original se kahan tak rega? year of transfer, 17, 18. Tak. Enhanced compensation may the cost will be nil and interest will be taxable at 50%. Now reverse, we will go and we will read these points. I've taken the problem. I have taken the solve problem. I have taken the example. Now I am reading these points. Padu mere saath bita ek bar jaldi se. Capital gain on any capital asset compulsory acquired by central government is taxable in the hands of person when compensation is received. Even though the tax liability is deferred, Indexation can be claimed only till year of transfer. That's 1670. If any enhanced compensation is received, it will be taxable where it is received, but the cost will be nil. Is it possible that the transferer may die before the enhanced compensation is received? Yes. Then it will be taxable in the hands of the legal heads. In case of reduction of compensation, the taxation will be revised. Kabhi to enhanced compensation aata hai. Yeah. And sometimes instead of enhanced compensation, what happens? Sometimes you receive enhanced compensation. Sometimes instead of enhanced compensation, uh, they will take back the compensation. Kini, sorry, humne galti se zada pe kiya. So in the rare case, but if it is so, you will have to revise. You will revise the capital gain. Okay? So major concept we have done. Exemptions we will take tomorrow and I am taking up right now a very simple concept. Slum sale bhi kal karenge. Achha kasa concept hai slum sale ka. Advanced money forfeited ke saath I want to take up this problem. Hmm? What's the concept of advanced money forfeited and problem number 32? Slum sale ek mein abhi miss kar rahe I want you all to write with me. Advanced money forfeited and MCQs ke liye bhi or questions ke liye bhi. Advanced money forfeited. Now what is the concept of advanced money forfeited? Listen carefully. It's a two-minute, beautiful, simple concept. I have sold my house to Shrishti. Shrishti, I gave you a I gave the paper. I had all of them came to look and we made a deal with Shrishti. So, Shrishti, I have taken from you token amount 2 lakh rupees. And I have made a deal. Chalo, paper work shuru kar denge. Mere papers bank ke paas hai. To main release karwa ke aapko bhej dungi and all that. Theek hai, chalo, all that is going on. So I have sold my property to Shrishti and I have taken 5 lakh rupees compensation. 
after two days shruti is coming and saying sorry ma'am i have sold to, told to my vastu consultant but he is saying according to my horoscope this place is not good and i want to cancel my deal i am saying because of you i lost all the other customers that day i gave paper ad i got 10 customers because i made a deal with you so this 2 lakh rupees what you have paid me at once against transfer of property or 5 lakh rupees i will forfeit i will not give this it's not like illegal it is very well legal aur ye bilkul allowed hai to humne na ye paise rakh liye now is this advance money which i have forfeited from shrishti is it my income answer is yes the year when i forfeit this is taxable as income from other sources no deduction is allowed if this amount is forfeited after 1st april 2014 if this amount was forfeited back before 1st april 2014 there was a loophole in the law it says that advance money 5 lakh rupees forfeit kiya hai na abhi pade rehne do after two the years if i sell this property to razak razak aapko bech diya humne ye property that time from the cost of the acquisition advance money forfeited is to be deducted and then indexation you will do अगर लग रहा है कि झोल झोल है दो मिनट में क्लियर हो जाएगा देखो एडवांस मनी फोरफीटेड बिफोर फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2021 रिड्यूस एडवांस मनी फोरफीटेड राइट डाउन राइट डाउन रिड्यूस एडवांस मनी फोरफीटेड फ्रॉम कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन and net cost of acquisition indexation will be done are you all with me if you have received advance money forfeited if you have received before 1st april 21 reduce the advance money forfeited from the cost of acquisition and net cost of acquisition ko index karna but the loophole here dear students was ki this was like after forfeiting the amount from shruti shrishti sorry shrishti i am taking your name wrong no, sorry to shrishti agar aapka humne amount forfeit kar liya and then i don't sell the property mujhe na bechna hi nahi hai sabko vastu bura lag raha hai mujhe koi farak nahi padta main hi building bana ke main hi apni office shuru kar deti hu to it says ki whatever amount is forfeited next time when you sell it reduce from the cost and then do the indexation but next time i am not going to sell it नेक्स्ट टाइम मुझे सेल करना ही नहीं है तो ये जो अमाउंट फोरफिट है ये तो कभी कैपिटल गेन में आई मीन से प्रॉफिट में इनकम में आएगा ही नहीं दिस वाज द लूप होल नाउ आफ्टर फर्स्ट अप्रैल 21 दे हैव मेड इट वेरी क्लियर जब भी मिला इसको टैक्स कर दो बात खत्म कर दो आफ्टर फर्स्ट अप्रैल 2021 एडवांस मनी फोरफिटेड is taxable as income from other sources baat hi khatam income from other source ki tarah isko tax kar lo easy i've just made one minute reel on this because students need to listen to this repeatedly tab main fir reels bana deti hu ki aap bar 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 sune usko one one minute ke reels uh, takes lot of time actually to record it to upload it wo sab is isliye kar rahe hai ki aap different different way mein concept sunte raho now with this concept we are taking up the next problem these are all small concepts major ones are done for the day ye dekho beta mere material mein bhi hai advance money forfeited okay in shares i forgot two things 
जीरो कूपन बॉन्ड्स एंड बाय बाय तो चीज हम भूल गए लिखना आई मेक यू राइट कहीं कहीं पे छूट गया हो अभी मैंने देखा जीरो कूपन बॉन्ड स्लम सेल इज अ ब्यूटिफुल कॉन्सेप्ट स्टैम्प ड्यूटी वैल्यू भी अच्छा है कल के लिए काफी ज्यादा ही रह गया है थोड़ा और कर लेते हैं तो विल रिड्यूस ये देखो इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर एन एस एस टू रिसीव एडवांस एंड ड्यू टू ब्रेक डाउन द एस एस सी में है रिटेन द एडवांस ये एडवांस फोफिटेड ड्यू टू फेलियर फॉर ट्रांसफर ऑफ द कैपिटल एसेट टू बी टैक्सीबल एज इनकम फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेज इफ एडवांस इज रिसीव आफ्टर फर्स्ट अप्रिल टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन If advance is forfeited before the first April two thousand fourteen, it is reduced from the cost of acquisition and net profit index. So, advance money forfeited by previous owner. See, so many times I am taking cost not for me but for previous owner. It should not be deducted from the cost of acquisition. समझ में आ रहा है? प्रीवियस ओनर ने अगर कोई एडवांस मनी फोरफिट किया है तो उसको कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन से डिडक्ट नहीं करना उसको इग्नोर करना है हमने जो अमाउंट फोरफिट किया है वो इनडायरेक्टली हम टैक्स पे करेंगे फॉर दिस दिस नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ओनली आई एम टेकिंग इन योर मटीरियल इट इज थर्टी टू प्रॉब्लम थर्टी टू प्रॉब्लम वी आर सॉल्विंग इन नोटबुक वन कॉन्सेप्ट वन प्रॉब्लम कल भी स्लम सेल का कॉन्सेप्ट स्लम सेल के प्रॉब्लम स्टैम्प ड्यूटी का कॉन्सेप्ट स्टैम्प ड्यूटी का प्रॉब्लम नंबर थर्टी टू इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम प्लीज ऑल ऑफ यू चेक विथ मी अ हाउस वॉज परचेज ऑन फर्स्ट मे टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन फॉर सेवन लैक एंड इट वॉज यूज बाय रेसिडेंट ओनर कॉन्ट्रेक्टेड टू सेल इट इन जून ट्वेंटी टू For eight lakh, and he has received advance fifty thousand. Intending purchaser did not purchase, and advance was forfeited. Cup June twenty two. So twenty two twenty three may he income from other source may tax ho jayega. Yeah. The property was then sold in July twenty two for twenty lakhs. The owner from out of the sale proceeds invested three lakhs in the. New house, okay. You have sold the house, and there are other concepts also with the advance forfeited. Are you reading the problem carefully? When did you purchase the house? Two thousand thirty. When did you transfer it? Actually, July twenty two. So index यहाँ तक मिलेगा. अब June twenty two में आठ लाख रुपए मिल. May you have decided to sell, but you received fifty thousand advance, and you forfeited. Have you received and forfeited the advance after first April? 2014 जब से ये रूल आया था हाँ आंसर इज यस सो प्रॉब्लम नंबर 32 इन योर नोटबुक सी इफ यू आर नॉट राइटिंग दिस सिस्टमेटिक की एक कॉन्सेप्ट उसका प्रॉब्लम एग्जाम के एक दिन पहले रिवीजन बहुत इजी हो जाएगा ओनली वन नॉट बोनस का एक कॉन्सेप्ट आई मिस प्रिंटिंग इट हियर रेस्ट ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट आई हैव प्रिंटेड सो प्रॉब्लम नंबर 32 इन योर नोटबुक Computation of income. Of Mr. Raj, नाम नहीं दिया है हम राज नाम दे रहे हैं. शाहरुख़ खान's name is Raj in every one. <laughs> The property was sold in July twenty two for twenty lakhs. So twenty two twenty three. See, I'm following the same format. जैसे हाउस प्रॉपर्टी के हर प्रॉब्लम के लिए सेम फॉर्मेट था सेल कंसिडरेशन वॉट इज अल कंसिडरेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स ट्वेंटी लैक्स लेस इंडेक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ एक्विजिशन So it was purchased for seven lakhs in which year two thousand thirteen fourteen. 
and it is transferred in which year? July 2223. So can we take quickly all the index rates and all? 13, 14, it is 220. 22, 23, it is 331. So what was available for 220 has become 331. 7 lakhs, kitna? 7 lakhs into 331. Tired, you all are. 10 minutes, 10 minutes more and we will close. It's so a nice concept. Taki kal exemption se related achche achche problem hum kar sakye. Okay? Yeah. Are you all getting? What was available in 220 has become now 331. So 7 lakh ka index cost of acquisition kitna hai apka? 10 lakhs 53,182. Nine lakh forty six thousand eight one eight is the long term capital gain, and this very year, first we have sold the property for fifty thousand to someone, and we have forfeited the amount. It will be taxable in income from other sources, no deduction. Hmm? Advance money forfeited. Advance money forfeited. Thank you, thank you that you are writing, liking the quality of the problems. See, I always say these are professional exams. Problem achha hai? Chota hai, seven to eight lines always the capital gain will be over. But silly mistake nahi karna. Sale consideration less the index cost of the acquisition. Advance money forfeited. It will be taxable in income from. Same problem can I do as option 2? Please don't do option 2 in exam. Paper corrector ko gyan nahi dena hai, padana nahi hai. But abhi am learning mode mein hai. So Deepthi ma'am wants to change one bit. See you all want to become chartered accountant. I have become CA in the year 2000. Abhi it's 23, now it's time for me. More than two decades of knowledge, I want to become an author. So, one problem ko turn kar kar ke char bar mein karte to aana chahiye na? So, option two is, if this advance money is forfeited in say 2013. 2013 mein advance money forfeit ho gaya tha. it will become taxable but you will reduce it this time from the cost of the asset. Then how will you calculate the sale consideration? I'm going little fast, so I'm writing in brief. Because the rest of the pura same. Hai. Sale consideration is 20 lakhs. Less. Index cost of acquisition. When I'm selling from the cost of acquisition, 7 lakhs deduct the advance money forfeited and only 650 ko index karenge. Baat samajh mein aa rahi hai ya nahi. I want to repeat if advance money is forfeited after 1st April 21, then 50,000. No problem. Tax it in income. And this is correct. Main second time bechungi, tab cost mein se deduct karungi. See, this amount is forfeited in 2013. Since then I am enjoying but when I am paying tax, 20 to 23. Are you getting? So this was a loophole. Deducted from the cost. And now 650 ko index karo. 2013, 14, 20 to 23, a 220 hai, a 331 hai. So 650 into 331 divided by 220. 650 into 331 divided by 920. 9.77. 9.55. 10,22,044. Are you able to see, dear students, the difference? All clear? AC, AC, thank you. Yes. 
see when you do things like this no it requires a different kind of patience to study with dipti ma'am but ye hum kya kar rahe hain rubik ki tarah ghuma de rahe hain agar advance money forfeit kiya hai pehle ye ek concept nahi padhate na tabhi bhi capital gain chapter khatam ho jata tha pata bhi nahi chalta tha 110 ko hi class khatam ho jata tha but we don't know what will come in professional exams so learn this trust me i'm not taking one thing also extra i'm not going to teach you 54 gb it's there but bahut sare bits hain aur wo nahi aata hai chhod do ye nahi chhodna hai if advance money is forfeited today tax it in income from other sources first option if it is forfeited and received in 2013 deduct it from the cost and then do index to jab aapne cost ko kam kiya and reduced cost you have done indexed indirectly you have reduced the cost so you are taxing 50000 no but indirectly but indirectly okay so tomorrow we have to take slum sale we have to take stamp duty and we will be taking up all the exemptions ghar bech ke ghar is there some option here also yes 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 One minute, one minute. यहाँ भी ऑप्शन है. You have sold the house and you have purchased another house. So when you sell one house and you purchase another house, you get exemption. Not in second option. कोई भी ऑप्शन में ले लो. चलो घर बेच के घर लिया. तो सेक्शन फिफ्टी फोर एक्सेम्शन. House purchased. You have sold the house and you have purchased the house for three lakh. so your taxable long term capital gain will be 722045 nice and clear to all of you ghar bech ke ghar lo to you are getting straight exemption Can't give you all three hundred page notes in PDF. That's why I'm requesting you, in case if you need, let us know, and you will also enjoy when you'll get it in spiral proper form, है right? ना? Right. So tomorrow we will be completing the capital gain. Then we will do income from other sources, and reverse we will come to salary chapter, and then deduction set off. i'll do lot and lot of problems for total income from all the past exam papers and tds tcs aur ek chhota sa topic hai return of income uske bhi bahut acche questions hum karenge right live chat should be there you know live replay is on in setting but i don't know what is happening it is vanishing so if you have followed everything in today's class make sure you comment below share this video have you seen the level of the efforts 11 o'clock to 130 i'm not uh, boosting myself but i know what level of commitment i'm doing tomorrow is visarjan the reason we are not taking class is not because we are all going out we know in fact to jyada der padhao ma'am kyunki ghar se nikalna hi nahi hai but power cut hota hai bar bar to class disturb hoga so we'll take a break for tomorrow and we will continue on sundays also because i have uh, due classes at icsi hyderabad chapter also so again there will be breaks in between and the sooner we finish you get time for revision of other subjects how is your preparation going on for other subjects in the evening time if you have any doubt in costing because you have joined sarthi taxation batch you can join our challengers whatsapp group or telegram group connect with us messages we will send you the whatsapp link you can join their whatsapp link hum open mein nahi share kar rahe kyunki bahut लोग डिस्टर्ब कर रहे हैं कि क्रिप्टो करेंसी कुछ मैसेज डाल के चले जाते हैं इट्स वेरी बैड एंड एज अ टीचर हाउ मच टू मॉनिटर ऑल दिस कि पढ़े कि आपके लिए अच्छे क्वालिटी गुड प्रॉब्लम लेके आए क्या करें हाँ तो यू कैन कनेक्ट विद अस एनी वेयर इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट इन अकाउंट्स टैक्सेशन कॉस्टिंग दीज आर माई कोर एरिया क्लास टू डी के क्लियर आई टेक हंड्रेड परसेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ माइंड सेल्फ in all the aspects and areas of my life right thank you so much thank you thank you stay connected and tomorrow join on time much revision is not required kyunki aaj ka class mein 
कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं थे आज तो हमने प्रॉब्लम ही किए वेराइटी की है अलग अलग कंपल्सरी एक्विजिशन कन्वर्शन ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी इन टू स्टॉक इन ट्रेड हाँ बाई बैक ऑफ शेयर स्मॉल कॉन्सेप्ट इज देर दैट ऑल्सो 